Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy crochet macrame yarn bag, perfect for beginners who want to finish a project in a few days. If you want more patterns and written instructions, please visit my website at crochetstrands.com. You can design the bag with any color combinations you like or crochet it in a single color. Our bag is very spacious and quite useful. You can add a lining if you want. It's perfect for the market, the beach, or everyday use. The macrame bag is about 35 centimeters wide. From the bottom, the height is 30 centimeters. If you're ready, let's get started without wasting any time. For the bag, I'm going to use five different colors of 100% polyester hash three macrame yarn. Guys, the brand is Spago Yarn. For those who want to crochet with the same colors, I'd like to show you the color numbers. The hook size is 2.5 mm. Let's start with the yellow color. After the first knot, we'll chain 59 loosely. Fifty nine chains equal sign twenty three centimeters. After chaining fifty nine, we'll work three double crochets into the fifth chain from the hook. Skip two chains, work three double crochets into the same chain space. Skip two chains, work three double crochets into the same chain space. Continue like this to the end of the row. I've made a total of 18 double crochet groups side by side until I reach the end of the row. When we reach the end of the row, skip two chains and then single crochet into the top of the last chain. Chain one, cut the yarn and change colors. You can secure the yarn through the center of any two double crochet groups. Chain three. 
work two double crochets into the same space. Work three double crochets into the center of the next double crochet group. For the corners, we'll work three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets, three chains, and three double crochets into the last space. Now, continue working three double crochets into the center of all the double crochet groups until you reach the end of the row. Don't chain between them. When you reach the second turning point, we'll work three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets, three chains, and three double crochets into the last space to make the corner. Work three double crochets into the center of all the double crochet groups until you reach the end of the row. Don't chain between them. Single crochet into the top of the first chain, chain one, cut the yarn and change colors. You can secure the yarn through the center of any two double crochet groups. Chain 3. Work two double crochets into the same space. Continue working three double crochets into the center of the double crochet groups until you reach the turning point. At the turning point, work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into each of the two chain spaces.
Okay, now we've made the short edges of the rectangular bag base. Continue working three double crochets into the center of the double crochet groups until you reach the next turning point. Work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into each of the two chain spaces. Repeat the same process as the first short edge, continuing until you reach the end of the row. Single crochet into the top of the first chain, chain one, cut the yarn, and change colors. If you don't start from the same spot where you cut the yarn, your bag will be more organized and uniform. Now, we're going to repeat the process from the bottom row. Secure the yarn through the center of any two double crochet groups. Chain three, work two double crochets into the same space. Continue working three double crochets into the center of the double crochet groups until you reach the corner. At the corner, work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Work three double crochets into the space between the two corners. Work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into the next corner. That's how we complete the short edge transition. Now, continue working three double crochets into the center of all the groups until you reach the next corner. Work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into the chain spaces of the next corner. Work three double crochets into the space between the two corners. After making the turn, Continue working three double crochets into the center of the groups to complete the fourth row. When you reach the end of the row, single crochet into the top of the first chain, chain one, cut the yarn, and change colors. Secure the yarn near the corner. Chain three, work two double crochets into the same space. Continue working three double crochets into the center of all the groups until you reach the corner. We're going to repeat the process from the bottom row at the corners. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. We'll also repeat working three double crochets into the center of the double crochet groups.
Repeat the processes from the bottom row, working three double crochets into the center of all the groups. When you reach the next short edge, work three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into the corners. Work three double crochets into the spaces between them. On the long edge, work three double crochets into the center of the groups and continue until you reach the end of the row. After the fifth row, we have made the bottom of the bag. If you want a wider bag base, you can repeat the process from the fifth row to make the base wider. Let's hide the yarn tails where we change colors among the stitches. I'll be doing the same process with all the other yarn tails behind the camera. And now, we're going to increase the height of the bag without making any increases. Secure the yarn through the center of any two double crochet groups. I'm starting near the corner so the video doesn't get too long. Chain three, work two double crochets into the same space. Continue working three double crochets into the center of all the groups until you reach the corner. Since we're not making corners anymore, We'll just work three double crochets into the chain spaces at the corners. Continue working three double crochets into the center of the groups until you reach the next corner. At the corner, work three double crochets. Work three double crochets into the center of the next group. Continue working three double crochets into the center of all the groups including the corners, without any other changes until you reach the end of the row. Before the base of the bag started rising up, the length was 33 centimeters, starting from the purple row. The short edge length is seven centimeters. Now we can finish the yellow row, guys. When you reach the end of the row, single crochet into the top of the first chain. Chain one, cut the yarn and change colors. Secure the yarn through the center of any two double crochet groups. Chain three, work two double crochets into the same space. Continue working three double crochets into the center of all the groups until you reach the end of the row.
you can continue crocheting, repeating the process from the seventh row until you reach half the desired bag height. Okay guys, I've changed a couple of the colors I showed you at the beginning of the video. I've made a total of 14 rows after the base increases. The length of these 14 rows is 9 centimeters. I'm going to continue with the cream color I used in the colorful section. Secure the yarn through the top of any stitch. Chain 5. Work a single crochet into the same space. Skip 2 stitches. Work a single crochet, 2 chains and then a single crochet into the same space to create a V-stitch. Skip two stitches without chaining and work a single crochet, two chains, and then a single crochet into the same space to create a V-stitch. Continue making V-stitches like this until you reach the end of the row. If you see a wavy appearance in your bag, you can chain one in the center of these V stitches. When you reach the end of the row, single crochet into the top of the third chain. Single crochet into the center of the V stitch again. Chain 5. Work a single crochet into the same space. We're going to repeat making V stitches into the center of all the V stitches we made in the row below. Work a single crochet, 2 chains and a single crochet into the center of each V-stitch, continuing until you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, repeat the process from the row below, single crocheting into the top of the third chain to complete the row. Now, the pattern will repeat itself in every row. You can continue working the second cream color row upward to create the V-stitch pattern until you reach your desired bag height.
I've continued making V stitches like this until I reach my desired bag height. I've made 17 centimeters of V stitches after the colorful section. Now, we're going to make the opening of the bag. Chain 1, work a single crochet into the same space. Since we made two chains in the center of the V-stitch, work two single crochets. Work a single crochet into the center of the next two V-stitches. Work two single crochets into the center of the next V-stitch. Work a single crochet into the center of the next two V-stitches, continuing until you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, single crochet into the top of the first chain. Chain one and then work a single crochet into the top of the next single crochet, continuing until you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, single crochet into the top of the first chain. Chain one, and then work a single crochet into the top of the next single crochet, continuing until you reach the end of the row. You can complete the top opening of the bag by working as many rows of single crochets as you like. I've made a total of three rows. Chain one and then single crochet into the top of all the stitches in the row below, continuing until you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, cut the yarn and make a slip stitch here. I'm going to sew on a leather bag handle. You can crochet any kind of bag handle that you want and sew it to the bag. I'll be sewing on the handles like this behind the camera. That's all I have for this video. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Until we meet again in the next tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share it with your loved ones. Goodbye.